Hello everyone and welcome to this getting started with Vue.js course. Vue is a progressive framework built in JavaScript for building user interfaces. Vue is really easy to get started with and it's fantastic to work with. In this course we are going to teach you the basics of Vue and what you need to know to get started to implement it in your own projects. This course assumes that you got the basic understanding of how HTML, CSS and JavaScript works. Before we start coding, I want to show you what we are building during this course. It might not look like the most exciting project to build, but you're going to learn a lot of exciting things. For example, we are going to learn about attribute binding, we are going to learn how to set up a component, how to use forms, and a lot of more exciting things. For example, if I update the text here, you can see it's automatically op updated here. If I update the description, you can also see that's updated there. I can add the interest, like uh, Vue.js in one word. And you see it's automatically added there, and the number of interested is automatically incremented. Also, if I remove the description, you'll see that the whole part at the bottom was removed, because there's a conditional rendering there. If I add more content here again, you see it's showing again. This is the code we are going to start with. As you can see, it's just some basic HTML and we have here a reference to the view library. So everything is ready to get started with. If I open this page here in the browser, you will see here that view has been loaded and we are running in development mode. To get started with, we are going to add the element where the app we are going to live. We're going to give it the ID of app because it's easy to remember. You also need a script tag where the JavaScript will be. Inside the app we can add the element with an expression. An expression is a way to show or do something with the data. If you save now and go to the browser and refresh, you will see that there will be curly braces and just name. That's because we haven't added the view instance yet, where we tell what we are going to put inside that. Inside the script tag, we are going to add a view instance. A view instance is almost like the brain, it's where everything is connected. A view instance can look like this. New view. Inside here, we need to reference the app up here. We do this by add a property called el and give it the value of app. Also, we need to add some data to show the name on the screen. To do that, we add one more property called data and give that one more property and add a value called view hero. So if you save that and refresh here, you will see that view hero is printed inside the header element. You can also add one more to show how it's done. Description. And down here we add one more property to the data array. This is the description. Well, that was it for part one. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll come back for part two.